Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Talk BFC video. We're finally back on the channel. I've been away for quite a while. Um, yeah, just I've, I've been I've been in hospital. That's that's all I need to say. I've been in hospital, but I'm out and I'm back, and we're here to do score predictions for tomorrow's game at the turf against Coventry. So, Coventry City find themselves 14th with 9 wins, 8 draws and 8 losses. Sort of a, I don't know, not a very uh, consistent team. They have some good spells, but then also have some very bad spells. And they're sort of going through not the best of spell recently. The last win they got was 5 games ago at home to West Brom, which was a 1-0 win. And their last game, which was in the FA Cup, they lost... 4-3 to Wrexham, which they shouldn't be losing to Wrexham. Not only that, though, that was at home. So, yeah, not the best result for Coventry at all in the Cup, at all. Last time we played them was on the 8th of October, where we eventually won 1-0 away from home with Nathan Teller scoring the only goal in that game. And that was sort of a period where Burnley were... Sort of just getting used to the team. We were good, but we weren't as good as we are now. I feel like the players have definitely just got to know each other a lot better. Not not only just on a personal level, but also how they play. And you can really tell that on the pitch. Their form really contradicts our form. We last lost on the 5th of November against Sheffield United. Which was a 5-2 loss away from home. But... Since then, we've won six in a row in the league. And the last four games in all competitions, we have won. We only had one loss, um, and that was against Manchester United in the Cup. If we were to take all the games after that Sheffield United game, we have won them all, except for the Manchester United away game, where we lost 2-0 in the Cup. That is such an amazing run that we are on. We just keep on winning and we are yet to lose at the turf i'll carry on saying that stat until it is broken but yeah we just carry on performing very very well and i'm really proud to say that i'm a burnley fan because the performances we're putting in are so good it's very entertaining to watch and yeah i just feel like this squad just at the moment can't lose we just carry on winning and it does feel like we can't even draw you know, I feel like we are hopefully going to run away with this league, eventually create a little bit more distance on us and Sheffield United. But for now, Sheffield United is still quite on us, but I do feel like we're going to go automatically promoted. But yeah, I feel like we're just in such a good form right now. And Asarori, since coming back from the World Cup, has been outstanding what a player he is. And I've heard that Juventus are sniffing around him. They can back the fuck off because he is our player. He is so good. For a 21-year-old, 22-year-old, bloody hell, he's going to grow into such a talented player. You've also got the likes of Benson, Teller on loan, Jay Rodriguez. Barnes has even putting in some good performances recently. You've got the likes of Bayer, who is such a dominant force at the back. Unfortunately, it does seem like Bellis will be out for quite a while. People are saying one to two months uh, because of the injury he picked up at Bournemouth. But Luke McNally came on. The first 10 minutes looked a little bit dodgy for him. But after that, really, really did perform well. And a strong centre-back start there. And and I don't know who he's going to pick, Vincent Company for this game. Could be McNally at the back. It could be Charlie Taylor at the back. But it's good to know that we definitely have options when there's an injury there. And Bellis is such a key player for us that... Uh, it is going to be a massive miss, but I do feel like we have the talent at the back to really, you know, put someone just in there straight away and they can they can just fit in like Charlie Taylor or like McNally. No one really expects us to do this well. A lot of players, uh, no one really expects us to do this well this season. A lot of fans of opposing teams said that we would do a Sunderland and go straight down or we'd be rocky in the championship the thing that we are so, so good. Top of the league, dominating. Only two losses in the league this season. 
it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And it's January and there's two losses in the season and we're yet to be defeated at home. What a fortress we're making, Turf Moor. Vince and company really has turned the boat around at Turf Moor. And it's beautiful to see. And not only that, though, January transfer window is open. We have, I think, signed someone on a free. I think it's a, a defender on a free, but they will be coming in, in in the summer. So it's not really a... It is a signing in the January window, but... We'll get to see him in the summer. Hopefully, that'll be in the Premier League. Uh, but, yeah, uh, we are yet to really make a new sign in this uh, January transfer window. But exciting times because we're linked with a lot of players. So, hopefully, we get some of them over the line. And we'll talk about them in a different video. But, yeah, just a great team overall. And it's really fun to watch. So, anyway, my prediction. What is my prediction? I believe we will batter them. I do. I think Coventry are just going through a little bit of a rocky spell. Their, you know, motivation and, and I just feel like we'll go down a little bit after their 4-3 loss to Wrexham in the Cup. I just feel like we are in such good form that I can't see our mentality changing. We'll just keep going. I can't see Vincent Company letting the mentality change at all. I can't see Coventry being the first team to beat us at home. But, hey, we might eat. I might eat my words. I don't know. They might do. But I can't see it. From a Burnley fan's perspective, I really can't see it. So, for me, I'm going with a 3-0 win. I just believe that we will just spank them all over the park. But let me know what you guys will think. Uh, you guys think that the game will go. Let me know who you think we should sign in the window. And not only that, though, watch-alongs are back. Tomorrow, there will be a watch-along for the Coventry game. So, yeah, they're, they're back. They're back. They're back. So, yes, exciting time. Sorry it's been so long. I've just had to deal with a fair bit of shit, but I'm back. So, good news for you guys. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Over the Clarice. I'll see you in the watch-along tomorrow. Come on.